Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we're reviewing today is the Dynatrap XL. This is just going to be a uh, uh, opening the box and see what's in it. And uh, first, initial thoughts on it. This here is going to be a trap that kills, let's see, kills flying insects including mosquitoes, bat flies, Asian beetles, wasps, hornets, yellow jackets, moths, stink bugs, and no seams. Uh, I've got honeybees and I'm looking for a way to control our mosquito population because it is terrible right now. And you can't do but so much because of the bees. So uh, what we're going to do is put this out. This was actually a gift from my mother. And we're going to do a review on it and see if it works pretty good. If it does, I will recommend this to y'all. If you don't, I will tell you it's a piece of junk. So that's the bottom piece. And here's the top. Now this thing comes in two sizes. This is the large size, and it's supposed to be good for up to an acre. Now this is supposed to be chemical free, and all that other good stuff. goes together is something I'm not sure about. There that is. Get that out of there. So there you go. That's the trap itself. Now it's got two ultraviolet bulbs that go in it and it looks like it already has two in it. Let's see here. See, my yard is unique because uh, I have a ditch in the backyard, and then I have a pond in the front yard, and then the uh, logging company come through and they log the uh, trees out behind my house. So I have that to deal with. Too. So there that is set up. You got an ultraviolet light that comes on and then you got a fan that actually sucks the mosquitoes down into it. From what I've been told about this. But I think that's all there is to putting the light bulbs in. Because it's already got a set of light bulbs in it. So uh, we're going to change the camera angle around a little bit and we're going to plug this baby up and just see what it looks like when we first turn it on. So stick around for that. Alright, let's plug this puppy up. And it looks like that's all there is to it. There's no, nothing to add to it. This packet actually comes with two sets of bulbs that goes for replacements. That's all there is to it. What they recommend is for you to get one of those uh, poles like you put flags and all that other decorative stuff on in your yard. Hang it out in the yard and see where it goes from there. I'll give you a close up view of it when I get the camera off the stand but uh, when I go to put it in the yard I'll probably do a video on that, or I might just uh, do a video on it after a day or two of it working. So, uh, there's my unboxing of the Dynatrap XL. Uh, like I said, there'll be a follow-up video in a couple days about how good it's working uh, and all that other good stuff. So, hope y'all enjoying the videos. Hit the subscribe button down below. We're going. This is going to be a a little like a review channel. There's going to be several products coming up in the next couple of weeks that we're going to be doing. So, hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all have a good 4th of July. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. As you can see, there's a fan rotating around in there. 
dedicated house. But as you can see, there's the fan. And then there's the ultraviolet lights. Here is all the information on the back of it. Seems to be a very quiet running machine. It's in several languages like everything else is here lately. Of course it's made in China. If you're trying to read all this, you probably want to hit pause. Back up and hit pause so you can read everything. There it is. We're going to go hang it in the yard. Give it a couple days and we'll do an update video on it. Alright, so here it is outside. You have to excuse my mess. We just uh, got through doing some construction here at the house, so I got stuff all over the place. But anyway, here it is, uh, hanging off of what they call a shepherd's pole. It's just stuck in the ground, and then we got it plugged in there. You have to excuse my a pump house cover. I had a guy back into it not too long ago and busted it, so I got to get another one of them too. But anyway, here it is. I got it plugged up. We're going to leave it running for a couple days and see what happens. When you turn that fan on, it opens up those little baffles down here. And then the uh, insects or whatever gets pushed down in there. So we'll see how it works out. Thanks for watching the video. I'll have links below for all the products that's in this video. So y'all can just click on them and, and go look at them and see the prices and stuff of them. So. Hope y'all doing good. We'll see you on the next one.